For the following exercises, use each pair of functions to find f of g of x and g of f of x, and then we need to simplify our answers. Okay, so composite functions. I know that these are composite functions because of this type of notation, where you have one function and then in parentheses you have another function. Composite functions is just a fancy way of saying you're taking two functions that are independent of each other and you're, you know, meshing them together. You're mixing them together to get one single output, one single answer. Okay. Now the trick to composite functions is if we look down at our tips and tricks, composite functions, we will always be working from inner to outer. When I say inner to outer, I mean parentheses. So you work from the innermost parenthesis to the outermost parenthesis, the innermost function to the outermost. Okay. So let's categorize this by doing a and b. For a, on the left hand side, let's do f of g of x. Okay. So as I look at this, work from inner to outer. So the innermost parenthesis is the g of x function. I'm not going to say specifically x because you have to include the whole function. So the inner function is the g of x function. And then once we solve that puzzle, we move to the outermost function, which is the f function here. So for step number one, all we do is we plug in an input, it's usually a number, to the inner function and then use our algebra and just solve. So the inner function here, and if I say number one, just to keep with my ones and twos, the g of x function, because that's what it said here, the g of x is, oh, well, the g of x was x, uh, sorry, 7 over x plus 6. Okay, can't really simplify that um, because they didn't give me a number, so I have to move on to the next part. The second part says I'm going to take that new input that I just solved for and plug it into the outer function. So I'm going to basically just take this answer and input it into the outer function, which is f. So that's number two, f of this seven over x plus six. If you hear my dog in the background, I apologize. Uh, yeah, he likes to bark. <laughs> Something must be outside. <laughs> um, so we're going to plug this in. And anytime that I see an x value in my outer function, in this case, it's the f function, I'm going to replace the x with what I got over here. So this would just be 1 over 7 over x plus 6 minus 6. Do we see that? I plugged in this whole thing for the x value. And now I just got to simplify. So let's see. A 6 minus a 6. Bye-bye. They go bye-bye. And now I have f of 7 over x plus 6. Um, this is the same thing as saying the final answer, f of g of x, which is 1 over 7 over x. But remember, when we are dividing by a fraction, we always like to multiply by their reciprocal. So I'm just going to take this and swap it. So it would literally be 1 times x over 7, which would just be x over 7. And that is your final answer in the most simplified form. So that is your first answer for the a part, f of g of x. Now let's see. I'm going to take the two functions and swap the composite function. Instead, now it's going to be g of f of x. Let's see if we get the same answer. The innermost function now is the f of x. The outermost is the g one. So I got to work from inner to outer. So for one, I'm going to take the f of x function. What was f of x? Oh, it was this. 1 over x minus 6. Can't simplify. They didn't give me a number. So I'm now going to take this and plug it into, so if I say number 2, plug it into the outer function, which was the g function. And instead of g of x, it's now going to be 1 over x minus 6. And whenever you see an x, you just replace that here. 
So this would be 7 divided by 1. Actually, let me put the 1 over here, and I will put it into a different color. 7 divided by 1 over x minus 6, and then you got to keep with it plus 6. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're dividing by a fraction, so let's inverse it. So g of 1 over x minus 6 equals 7 times by, you're reverting this, so this would just be x minus 6 over 1, which is just x minus 6, and then finish it out. It's plus 6. So now we can simplify. All we're doing is distributing. So I'm going to pull it all together. I can say that the g, 1 over x minus 6, which is the same thing as g of f of x, is... 7 times x is 7x, 7 times a negative 6 is minus 42, plus 6, sum it all up, uh, negative 42 plus 6, what is that? That is 36, negative 36, so this would equal 7x minus 36, and that is your final answer. So this is the simplified version, if you want to just take that. Okay! We are almost there. First thing I just, want to, I just want to point out is these are not the same answer. So the order of the composite function, even if you're taking the same function, the ordering matters. All right. So yeah, <laughs> we got this. One last one. This one's going to be quicker because we kind of get the hang of it. So let's do f of g of x first. Inner function is the f of x. Then for part two, we take that and put it into the outer function, which is the f function. So for one, g of x is this, right? 2x, well, 2 divided by x plus 4. 2 over x plus 4. Can't simplify that, so I'm going to take this and plug it into my outer function for part two. f of this whole thing, 2 over 4, or 2 over x plus 4. And my f of x function was this, but every time I see an x now, I'm just going to write this. So let's see, we got 1 over 2 over x plus 4 minus 4, because I got to keep with this, right? So what can we simplify? Okay, well, plus 4, minus 4, that goes bye-bye. They cancel each other out. So now let's sum it up. We have f of 2 over x, that was a little ugly, plus 4 equals, it's the same thing as saying f of g of x, which equals 1 over 2 over x. But whenever we're dividing by a fraction, we just like to take the inverse, right? We multiply by the inverse. So this would be 1 times x over 2. 1 times x over 2 is x over 2. And there you go. Almost quick and easy. Now we just got to do b. Um, g of f of x, inner to outer, Inner is now the f function, plugging it into the g function. So for 1, f of x equals this, right? 1 over x minus 4. Can I simplify this? No. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in into my outer function of g. So that's part 2. g of this now, 1 over x minus 4. And for the g function, whenever you see a x value, you're plugging in that. So it would be 2 over, insert this, because that was the x, 1 over x minus 4, and then plus 4. So I'll put this in blue just to show you. And now same thing as before. I'm dividing by a fraction, so I'm just going to do the inverse, multiply by the inverse. So g of 1 over x minus 4, 
ooh, is two times inverse it. So it would be um, x minus 4 and then plus 4. Now we distribute. I got a number here. I got to distribute between these parentheses and we're going to get our final answer here. So g of 1 over x minus 4 is the same thing as saying g of f of x, which is 2 times x is 2x. 2 times a negative 4 is a negative 8 plus 4. So this would equal 2x minus 4. And if you wanted to, you know, simplify this, you could even pull out the 2 here. You know, 2x minus 2. It doesn't really matter to me. So I'm going to highlight these. They all mean the same thing. Whee! Awesome job, guys. And this is the answer. And once again, look at your final answers. Are they the same? No, they're not. So, yeah. Composite functions really matter when you're taking into consideration who's the inner function, who's the outer function. If you reach the end and you can understand this, and I hope you can, guys, um, let me know in the comments. But you guys are amazing, all right? You're getting so good at math. Um, keep going. You guys got this. Um, thank you so much for, you know, coming to this lesson. I hope this helped. Uh, like this if you, you know, liked it, obviously. If you want to follow us along. You can subscribe and we'll have tons more uh, math videos. We got physics videos. If you guys are taking physics, you name it, we got it for you guys. All right. Well, as of right now, but we'll see what's ha what's happening in the future. All right. So I got uh, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. Bye-bye.